Hey girls, it's Jessie. Welcome to Ask Jessie. Okay. <laughs> okay, first question is from Madeline. Hi Jessie, I hope all is well with you, Alex and little Sammy girl. Thank you, we're great. I'll be competing in my first show this November. In your opinion, what are some of the essential items a competitor should absolutely bring with them backstage for the show? Great question. And I have a list for you of all of the things that I used to bring with me backstage at shows. It's not all the things that you need to pack if you're going to a show. If you are traveling to a show and you're gonna be staying in a hotel room, you need to add things like dark sheets, dark towels, stuff like that because you can't sleep in hotel room towel in hotel room sheets because they're white and your spray tan will get on them and you'll get a big fat charge on your credit card and things like that. So this is just the things to take with you backstage during your competition in no particular order. I've got beauty blotting papers. I would get like kind of sweaty. Sometimes backstage is freezing cold. Sometimes it's crazy hot. So I would get, my makeup would kind of get a little oily. My skin would get a little oily. So I always used to bring at least Kleenex just to like dab it or, you know, face powder or whatever. But a lot of times I didn't have the right color face powder for what the makeup artist put on my face that matches the Oompa Loompa tan. So I just really liked those beauty blotting, oil removing, if your face gets shiny, because you don't want to have this killer physique and just have this like shiny face in all of your pictures. Okay, bikini bite. If you don't know what that is, it's either spray on or roll on, and it's the glue that's going to keep you from getting a big wedgie in your bikini, um, in your figure or bikini suit. So make sure that you have bikini bite with you. I'm sure there's other brands, but I always use bikini bite and I love it. You can use it if your boobs are falling out, if your strap's falling off, anything like that. But the main reason is to keep your butt covered, to keep the back of your suit from riding up your butt when you're walking out on the stage. Rubber gloves, in case you need to touch up your tan, you need to smear something in, you don't wanna have black palms. A bottle of water or two, in case you get a little parched backstage, you need to be able to kinda sip on some water. Food, whatever food that you are bringing for the night before a show, the day of a show, make sure you have the things for the day of your show backstage with you. Most of the time you're gonna be back there for so many hours and you need to eat. You need to make sure you have enough food. An info card or, I don't know, I'm just like forgetting the name of them, but it doesn't have to be a business card because that can be a little cheesy, but I used to always bring backstage with me. Um, it was, a, I printed a little bit bigger than, uh, than a business card, but a little bit smaller than an index card, so I can't remember the dimensions off the top of my head, but I would bring that, and it would just have like a couple of nice fitness pictures of me, my website, and some of my social media information, and my email address. And just in case you ran into somebody important, like a magazine editor, or a photographer that you really wanted to work with, or just you meet lifelong friends sometimes backstage, <laughs> you wanna make sure you give them your info. The biggest reason for having that personal card with you is you never know who you're gonna meet. When I did the NPC USA's in 2012, in Las Vegas. The editor for Muscle and Fitness Hers and Flex Magazine, she was backstage and she was standing there. I heard her talking to girls, so I kind of like lingered in her area. <laughs> she saw me and then approached me and asked me if I wanted to do a shoot for Flex Magazine and Muscle and Fitness Hers. And I had that card right there in my hand with me to hand to her to make sure that we made that connection after the end of the show. And I got a three page spread in Muscle and Fitness Hers and a two page spread, or no, just one big giant uh, single page feature with my picture on the whole entire page and a bio about me in Flex Magazine. So that's important. You never know what's gonna happen. A camera, phone, cash, just in case, you never know. The clothes that I'd bring backstage, a lot of girls just wear, you know, like their black silk robe. I wasn't a robe person. I liked to stay really covered up before a show, so I was always in like this jersey button down, long sleeve black shirt and a pair of really loose dark gray pants that had a really loose waistband. And I kept that on until like, it was time to pump up and get in line. Safety pins in case a strap on your suit breaks at the last minute, scissors in case a string is hanging off, fabric glue in case part of your suit rips or you have to stick a rhinestone back on, super glue in case anything comes apart, eye drops in case your eyes are red, your like uh, organization card if you're in the NPC, for example, just make sure you have your NPC card, 
make sure you have your driver's license, your show badge. A lot of times you'll like run out to see a friend and then they won't let you back in because um, you don't have your competitor badge on, floss, jewelry. I always liked to have a, a, ba a lock for my bag. It never happened to me, but so many women and men get their belongings stolen out of their bag or their bag stolen when it's their time to go out on stage and they come back and there's shit missing out of their bag. It sucks, but it happens. So if you can find a suitcase that locks and bring a lock and make sure it's locked when you are away from it at any time. Pillow, in case you're cruising, hanging out backstage for a really long time, you're gonna wanna be able to lay down, put your feet up, rest your head. Nail glue in case a nail pops off. Hand towels, I'd always have like random, you know, just random hand towels with me so that if I was touching up a tan or did something and got oil or tanner on my hand, I could wipe my hands off. Pump up bands, you wanna make sure you can like pump up your shoulders, shoulder press, shoulder flies, all the little pump up things, flies quad things, everything, all the pump up stuff, pumping up for days. I always like to have wet wipes to wipe the tanner off of my hands or off a rhinestone. Makeup, touch up makeup, hairspray, last minute stuff. And then the last one I wanna talk about is you the snow cone cup. Um, some women use a Dixie cup. Some women buy a Go cup or something. I don't know, you get them on Amazon.com. I always had a snow cone cup and I snipped the bottom of the snow cone cup off so that it was like a larger hole at the bottom of the snow cone cup and that's what you pee into to go to the bathroom. If you try to go to the bathroom and you're not peeing into some sort of a cup, you are going to splash and you are going to have a completely ruined tan. So make sure when you need to use the restroom, you have a snow cone cup or something similar with the bottom cut off of it and you pee into that so that everything is nice and smooth and you don't splash all of your legs. Because you're gonna be a hot mess if you've gotta go fix your tan five seconds before you have to walk out on stage. That is my list. I don't think I forgot anything. Pretty awesome list. You'll probably use hardly any of it, but I always like to be over prepared. So good luck in your show. I can't wait to hear how you did. Good luck, kill it out there, and the most important thing is to always have fun on stage.